Hi, welcome back. Today I actually just want to show a quick fix. If you're running an Arch-based distribution and you have DaVinci Resolve installed from the AUR, you do, at least on the recent AUR updates, they seem to be throwing an error, but it still installs. But something I noticed, if I try to just launch Resolve, it doesn't launch. And this is on my Endeavor OS on my Dell XPS laptop. Does the same thing on my Pure Arch install on my desktop computer. And something I found, best way to know what's happening is launch your program from the terminal. Arch does install. I'm just going to CD opt resolve bin. If I do an ls, resolve is there. It's right here. So I'm just going to do the command to launch a program from this directory. So I'm going to hit enter and it shows a symbol lookup error for user lib lib pongo or pango. <laughs> uh, this is a G string free and still. So what I have found, at least I found this on my desktop version. We're going to try this on Endeavor OS. It should work. I'm going to CD back one directory and there is a libs folder. DaVinci Resolve packages its own libraries. Uh, so it uses some of your system libraries, but not all of it, not all, <laughs> it uses some of its own. So if I go into that directory, cd libs, let me just clear this to get a clear reading. I have actually found it is tied to these two glib things. I've also removed this, this other glib with the 6880.4. I'm going to try to leave that one in there because in my desktop version I just removed libgl 2.0.so and libgl 2.0.so.0. So what I'm going to do, I'm not going to remove them. I'm just going to rename them using the move command. So sudo mv lib g lib. I'm going to hit tab. So that'll be that file, and I'm just going to rename it lib g lib. Hit tab. I'm going to do dash bk for backup. So there's that one, and now I'm going to do, so once I type in my password correctly, now I'm going to go ahead and rename the next file, the one with the dot zero on the end. So I'm just going to go here, hit period, zero, I'm going to go here, just right here, I'm going to add period, zero. Hit enter. I'm going to clear again. LS. And as you can see, the two uh, glib files are gone, but they're right here in backup with the BK for the backup file. So they're still there, but because they're named incorrectly, Resolve should not try to read them. Uh, I'm going to try launching Resolve. If it doesn't launch, I'll rename this file also, because in testing, renaming this one and accidentally leaving one of these still made it work. But I'm trying to see if I need to remove all three, but it's always good practice to keep the file. Just rename it so that the system doesn't try to use it, but this will force Resolve to use your system installed glib libraries. So I'm just going to go cd back a directory ls cd bin. There's that. Now 
before I do this test, I do need to plug in because I do have DaVinci Resolve Studio on my system. So it won't launch without my USB key because I'm not using the one that you type in. I have a physical USB key for DaVinci Resolve. Get that plugged in, make sure it lights up. It's lit up, so now I'm just gonna ls and I'm gonna type resolve and as you can see renaming those two files so it's forced to use your system libraries fixes it and allows it to launch let me know if that helps in the comments uh, like subscribe comment below share the video and I will see you in the next video thank you and bye